I want to be really, really clear about the warranty on a car. The second you touch that area of your car, your dealer can void the warranty. They don't have to work on your car. Um, there are some people that live in really awesome places or they have connections to a dealer and they can modify their car and their dealer may do the warranty work. And that's fine, but the second you modify your car, you're opening the door for them to say, no, we don't have to do this. And the dealerships around me are for profit, okay? They do not really want to do free work. So when you modify that area of your car, you're opening the door for them to say no and you should always keep that in mind and the second I, I messed with my exhaust I kissed my exhaust warranty goodbye so just know that as you modify your car you are voiding or you're opening up the door for dealerships to void that area of your car that's your public service announcement all right, guys, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Scat Pack Stage 1 PCM. And, you know, whether you should go down this road or not, okay? Um, the first question you have to ask yourself is, are you willing to void your engine warranty? Um, if the answer is yes, then without a doubt, go with the Diablo, um, set up. You could either unlock your PCM through Diablo or you could get a whole nother one. If if you want to keep your engine warranty like myself, you will want to go down the Scat Pack route. Now, the Stage 1 Scat Pack versus the Stage 1 Trinity is very equal. But what's the difference? The difference is, is with the Diablo, you're going to be free as a bird to modify the living heck out of your car because most performance shops have the proper software to um, tune a Diablo further. So you can put headers on your car and they'll be able to tune your car to uh, um, handle that increased power or you know, whatever. What I'm trying to say is that you're going to have the freedom to modify your car. With the stage kits, you're basically getting factory parts back and put back on, but they're limited, okay? So if you choose the Scat Pack um, route, you're going to be trying to modify your car in a box. You're very limited to what it is that you want to do. Now, I myself have never cared about a warranty because I've before this car I've never had a car with a warranty I've always had like 10 to 12 year old cars that are well past their warranty and they never had like a locked PCM or anything like that so uh, this stuff is very new to me and voiding my warranty um, while I'm still paying off this thing is a little on the scary side um, because I have heard um, some terrible stories with uh, you know people that have had dodges so I was already like you know I was kind of shaky with modifying this thing but it's so fun it's so tempting so you know you yourself have to come up with how far it is that you want to take this thing and you have to decide in the beginning because as I continue down this road, I find out a lot of information and I talk out loud to you guys. I talk into this camera like you guys are like my best friend, you know, and I'm just relaying information and um, I just talk and talk and research and then talk more and just re relay research. and the hopes are that 
this stuff kind of helps you with your modifications and gives you information for what it is that you want to do to your car. Um, now, I chose the Scat Pack route. I'm very happy with this thing. It feels like a freaking monster. I love it. Um, but again, like I said, you know, with the headers, you know, in the previous video, I want to do headers. I've been calling performance shops nonstop. And the truth is, is the I can't get Cooks. I can't get JBA. I can't do all that stuff without paying you know, six or seven hundred dollars to get this PCM that I paid for unlocked. So now I have to go back to the drawing board because you're talking about fourth, like three or four thousand dollars for headers that are going to give me 30 horsepower. 30. That's ridiculous. And in no way would I pay that for 30 horsepower. So, um, I hear that you could get SRT 8 headers, but no going into this scat pack uh, stuff that you're going to be modifying your car in a box, okay? And I'm okay with that. I am. Because if anything were to happen, I could waddle my butt right up to a Dodge dealer. They can't say crapola. Uh, they have to do the warranty work. So that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on it. Um, 